Today we are going to conduct the Swinburne's test on DC shunt machine. Uh, now we can see the nameplate details of uh, DC shunt machine made by Rajat's company. Here rated voltage is mentioned as 230 volts and rated current drawn, uh, run, rated current drawn by the uh, DC shunt motor at full load condition is 8 amperes. Rated RPM is 1500 RPM and HP rating is given as 2 HP. Now we can see the circuit diagram of a uh, DC shunt motor for the conduction of Swinburne's test. Uh, in this circuit diagram we can see this uh, plus and minus terminals. In between two terminals we can give the supply and from plus terminal we have uh, two wires are connected. Uh, from this uh, plus positive supply terminal one wire is connected to the voltmeter positive terminal and another wire is connected to the ammeter positive terminal from ammeter negative terminal is connected to the line terminal in the starter and voltmeter negative terminal is connected to the uh, negative terminal of DC supply and uh, ammeter negative terminal is connected to the uh, line terminal of starter and A terminal of starter is connected to the uh, armature winding uh, armature winding ammeter positive terminal and armature winding ammeter negative terminal is connected to the A terminal of armature winding and AA terminal of armature winding is connected to the negative terminal of the DC supply and Z terminal of the uh, three point starter is connected to the field winding external rheostat positive terminal and uh, field winding uh, another terminal variable terminal is connected to the uh, positive terminal of the field winding ammeter and field winding ammeter negative terminal is connected to the Z terminal of the uh, field winding Z, ter Z, Z terminal of the field winding is connected to the DC negative terminal of DC supply by using this field winding ammeter we can measure the current through the field winding by using the arm, uh, armature winding ammeter we can measure the current through the armature winding and by using this line current ammeter we can measure the current drawn by the DC shunt motor by using this voltmeter across the supply we can measure the supply voltage the same circuit diagram can also be used for the speed control of DC shunt motor by varying the flux per pole. By using this circuit diagram we can connect the circuit. Now we can see the components in the circuit. In between A and AA we have armature winding. In between Z and ZZ we have a field winding and we are using and we are using this board for giving the connections on this board we have a, a three point starter having LAZ terminals and a, a voltmeter which is connected across the DC supply and armature winding ammeter field winding ammeter by using this uh, uh, 0 to 10 ampere moving coil type ammeter we are going to measure the line current We are using that external field winding rheostat for getting the rated speed of the motor and we are not going to use this uh, uh, armature winding terminals and field winding terminals because these uh, winding terminals are belonging to uh, DC shunt motor which is made by uh, Kirloskar company uh, but we are not using this Kirloskar motor. We have to note this point. Now we can see the connections uh, for this experiment. Uh, from the positive DC supply, this is that point is positive DC supply. From that we have taken two wires. One wire is connected to the uh, voltmeter positive terminal and another wire is connected to the ammeter positive terminal. Voltmeter negative terminal is connected to the negative terminal of DC supply. and. Uh, um, uh, ammeter line current ammeter negative terminal is connected to the 
line terminal in the three point starter and a terminal from the starter is connected to the uh, armature winding ammeter uh, positive terminal armature winding negative uh, armature winding ammeter negative terminal is connected to the a terminal a terminal in the uh, motor i mean armature winding a a terminal is connected to the negative terminal of uh, dc supply uh, from f terminal from the starter is connected to the field winding rheostat positive terminal field winding rheostat negative terminal is connected to the uh, field winding ammeter positive terminal field winding ammeter negative terminal is connected to the z terminal in the field winding z z terminal uh, from the field winding is connected to the aa and aa is connected to the negative terminal of dc supply with this uh, all the connections have been uh, completed uh, here we are not using this rpm meter this rpm meter is for uh, kirloskar company uh, shunt motor but we are using one separate dc shunt motor and for that th this is rajat's made company motor we are using this motor and we are going to measure the uh, speed by using this uh, digital tachometer for conducting the swing bunch test we have to apply the rated supply voltage and uh, we have to run the motor at no load with rated rpm now we have switched on the mcb and we are going to start the motor by using three point starter we are starting this motor now the supply voltage is 230 volts is fixed and uh, at this condition uh, first we have to see whether the motor is operating at no load or not now the motor is operating at no load and we have to set the speed also now speed is given 1500 By using the analog uh, moving part ammeter, we can measure the uh, line current that is 1.65 amperes. And armature current is 0 0.96 amperes and field current is 0 0.66 amperes. And we can see the rated supply voltage that is 230 volts okay, for this motor. Okay. With this reading, so we can find the constant uh, co constant losses that is uh, iron friction and windage losses. We can calculate by using these values. If we know the uh, losses, we can find we can predetermine the efficiency for a DC shunt motor. Now we are going to switch switch off the DC supply. Now you can see the write-up for uh, Swinburne's test of a DC shunt motor. Uh, here aim, uh, aim is to determine the sum of iron friction and windage losses and to predetermine the efficiency of a DC shunt motor at full load condition and nameplate details given. Uh, voltage is 230 volts, current run by the motor IL is equal to 8 amperes, uh, rated RPM is uh, 1500 RPM and uh, horsepower is 2 shaft power output is 2 and uh, here we can see the procedure first we have to connect the circuit as per the given circuit diagram and we have to keep the external field winding rheostat at a minimum uh, resistance position after that we have to apply the rated voltage 230 volts across the motor terminals and we and start the and we have to start the motor at no load by using the three point starter after that we we have to measure the speed by using the digital tachometer if the speed of the motor is a rated rpm then that is 1500 rpm then we have to note down the readings of line current ammeter armature current ammeter field uh, field current ammeter uh, if the motor speed is not at rated rpm then by adjusting the field winding rheostat we can uh, 
get the rated speed 1500 rpm after that we have to note down the readings of line current uh, line current ammeter armature current ammeter and field current ammeter after getting these values we can find the we can determine the sum of iron friction and windage losses that is equal to c after finding the losses we can predetermine the efficiency at a full load uh, for the dc shunt motor here we have we have taken the observation values here we have noted down here and uh, this armature winding resistance field winding resistance and uh, uh, we have measured by using the digital multimeter and uh, here in the nameplate details hp rating given as uh, 2 hp uh, 1 hp is equal to 746 watts so if we know the hp rating we can convert it into uh, watts here calculations are given for uh, for the determination of uh, sum of iron friction and windage losses and uh, we have predetermined the efficiency uh, here sum of iron friction and windage losses is equal to 218 0.376 watts and uh, efficiency is equal to 72.18 percentage you can go through these calculations i will send this to you